Okay, we're doing problem A18, and uh, we want to solve for x. It's basically something that you've been familiar with, except it has an inequality here. What we're going to do is we're going to get the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. Now, this side has 6x's, this side has 3x's. Might as well bring the 3x over to that side because there's more x's there anyway. So this positive 3x is going to be a negative 3x on the other side. And then the 6x, since that's staying on the same side of the inequality, it's going to remain a 6x. But then if we're bringing the x's to the right side, I'm going to bring the numbers to the left side. So that negative one is now going to turn into a positive one. And then this positive 5, that's not moving sides, so that's going to stay as a positive 5. Now it's a matter of combining like terms. We're going to add the 5 plus the 1. That's going to give us a positive 6. And then 6x minus 3x is 3x. Just do the 6 minus the 3, the x stays the same. And we're almost done, except we need to get x by itself. So our last step is to divide by 3 from both sides so that we can have x by itself. And x now is greater than 6 over 3. 6 over 3 is going to turn into a 2. So x is greater than 2. And now we're going to take a look at the choices and see which one that is. Now that's one way of solving the problem. There's another way of solving it as well, and that's where we're just going to use the number 0 and then substitute that into the equation y0 because I'm an expert at multiplying by 0. So let's come over here and I'm going to show you another way of solving it. Here we have the same problem again. Let's substitute 0 in here. Whenever I see an x, I'll put an open and closed parentheses and I'll plug in a 0 there, and I'll show you why in a minute. 3 times 0 is 0. So here we're just going to be left with 5 is less than, 6 times 0 is 0, negative 1. And now you're going to try and visualize this as a mouse, where it's like an alligator, it's always going to eat the larger number. Here is 5 less than, negative 1. Now, really the mouse should be facing the other way. So that means that 0 was not working in the equation because it doesn't make sense that when we plugged in 0 here, now 5 is less than negative 1. 5 is not less than negative 1. 5 is greater than negative 1. So let's pause this video and I'll show you the choices so we can take a look at which one's the right solution. Since we plugged in 0 and 0 didn't work, let's take a look at these four choices, A, B, C, and D. If you look at choice A, 0 is not a solution because it's not bolded, so it can still be A. It cannot be B anymore because B has 0 bolded, and we know that B is not the, uh, 0 is not a solution. Here, C could possibly be the answer, but it cannot be D because D has 0 bolded as well. So we see that the answer is not B or D because 0 did not work when we substituted it into the equation, but uh, it is a solution for choices B and D. So we narrowed it down to just A or C, and of course we could plug in another value, like for example we can plug in 3, if 3 works, then we know that A is the answer. If 3 doesn't work, then we know that C cannot be the answer, depending on whether 3 works or not. So if 3 works, it must be A. If 3 doesn't work, then the answer must be C. Of course, we could take a look at our choices. X is greater than 2. Here, X is greater than 2. That's exactly what we have for choice A. So the answer for 18 and sample A would be A.